Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to talk about the Keurig K-Mini and how to clean the needles. So this is for the Keurig K-Mini and the K-Mini Plus. So if your Keurig machine is not working, you press, you put the water in, you press the button, and the water doesn't come out, or if it comes out kind of misty or kind of at a bad stream, it's time to clean the needles. Now we want to be really careful. It's got a top needle, and there's also a bottom needle. So I'm gonna, you're going to need a paper clip. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it off and we're going to unplug it. Make sure these aren't hot. These can be pretty hot. So this bottom needle is a basket and we can take this basket out. The easiest way to take it out is to kind of pinch and we're going to poke from the bottom. Now there's nothing sharp at the bottom. You're just going to be poking on that little black thing. So this comes out really, just poke from the bottom and kind of pinch. Pinch the cup, and then this whole needle basket's gonna come out. So here we have the needle basket. Again, be careful, there's the sharp needle. So this comes apart. So there's a seam right here, just take both parts and kind of, it can be kind of tricky, just kind of snap it. It's designed to come apart. There's nothing sharp in here, nothing sharp here. That's the exit for the needle. So you're going to take your paper clip and you're going to stick it in this hole and you should be able to see it coming through the other side. Now it's not going to poke all the way through because there's kind of an angle that, that that needle has on the end of it. So you won't get it to come all the way through, but you can see. And the best thing to do is to take this over to the sink, run a bunch of water through it as you're doing this. And that really cleans it out. It's also a good idea to take a brush and kind of, this thing gets pretty dirty. You'll, you'll find coffee grinds in it. And same with this. These openings are pretty big, but it's good to take a, a brush and kind of clean all this up. You'll be surprised how dirty this can get. So once you've got this all nice and clean, it's got these two little ears and you got to find the little detents. We're just going to push it, push it in there and it'll kind of snap. Now, when you got it in there right, it won't turn and you won't pull off. Now it's ready to be put back in. Now, the best thing, the best way to put it back in is have everything so you can read it. Caution, sharp needles goes at the bottom and the needle goes at the top. And it's also a good idea. Sometimes you got, you can clean down in there. You'd be surprised how dirty that gets too. So there's this little tang opening at the top and then there's two down here. And then there's this big opening right there for that. So once you got everything lined up, now make sure you get the tangs where they're supposed to go and it should just snap in and be nice and flush. Practice closing this. Now don't force it. If you've got everything right, it'll close. If, if this is not installed correctly, you could break this handle. So be very careful. And there you go. It's installed correctly. Now we've got to do the top needle. So be careful. This top needle is very sharp. So be careful. Unfortunately, Keurig doesn't want us removing the top needles. We've got to clean it in place. So you're going to take your paper clip. First off, there's three holes. You're going to go from hole to hole. So we go from this hole, and then we're going to go from, here, from this hole to the front hole. And then I like to go from the top one to the back one, and then vice versa. You may get some junk in there, you may not. Now we need to go up into the needle. Now this is where you got to be really careful. There's a little plastic tube that connects to the other side of this needle. If you poke this up too hard and too fast, you could poke a hole in that tube. And then you're going to get water leaking around here and you've just ruined. You'll have to repair your machine and it's really hard to repair. But just kind of work the needle up nice and easy. Don't, don't poke real hard. You may get some stuff out. You may not. The main thing is just to kind of work it loose, kind of go in a circle a little bit, kind of go in a circle. Now, we need to do a, a fresh water rinse. So we're going to close this, make sure the needle basket's in, close this. We're going to put 12 ounces of water in the reservoir. We're going to plug it in and turn it on. So let's say, let's say you put water in and it sucked it down but nothing came out. That means your water reservoir is already full. So there's a trick with a Keurig. You can hold this button down and it should force the water out. 
Well, first you got to activate it once it's on. Once that light is blinking, you can hold that down and that should force some water out if your reservoir had water in it. Mine didn't, so now I got to put some water in it. So to stop this, just hit the power button. I'm going to put water in my reservoir. And all these are just fresh water rinses. We may have to re-clean that needle and then do this again. But let's turn it on. Activate it. So right now it's just sucking the water down. It's going to heat it up and then shoot it out. Okay, so hopefully by cleaning those needles, your water is coming out in a nice stream. If it doesn't come out, if it's still not working, try cleaning those needles one more time. And then after that, you can hold that button down. If your, if your, if your inside tank is already full of water, you may have to hold that button down. But hopefully that little trick will get your unclogged. Because you may think the machine is broke internally when all it is is the needle. Check out my other videos where I show you how to descale this with vinegar and I do another video on how to descale it with uh, the Keurig descaling solution. Also check out my video where I show you how to use a reusable K-cup to make your own coffee. Thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe.